upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though he die. And everyone who has life and has committed himself to me in faith shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my awaking, he will raise me up, and in my body I shall see God. I myself shall see, and my eyes behold him, who is my friend and not a stranger. For none of us has life in himself, and none becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord, and if we die, we die in the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's possession. Happy from now on are those who die in the Lord. So it is, says the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, the Maker and Redeemer of all believers, grant to the faithful departed the unsearchable benefits of the passion of your Son, that on the day of his appearing they may be manifested as your children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seemed to have died, and their departure was thought to be a disaster, and their going from us to be their destruction. But they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them, 
and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his holy ones, and he watches over his elect. The word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. What I am saying, brothers and sisters, is this. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For this perishable body must put on imperishability, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When this perishable body 
puts on imperishability, and this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying that is written will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, because you know that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Absolve. Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, Very truly I tell you, anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment but has passed from death to life. Very truly, I tell you the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ.
May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. This All Souls Requiem presents a preaching opportunity unlike any other throughout the year. The opportunity arises only indirectly from the appointed scriptures and mainly from the remembered lives of those whose names we will recite and pray in a few moments. Imagine that each of the 140 names that we will read and pray is its own sermon. Perhaps a distillation of lessons learned in this life, or maybe an eternal perspective from the other side, not yet fully available to any of us still here on earth. As one example, known to many of us, what impression is left on you and with what possible message when I say the name Sister Barbara. Depending on how we knew her, the message conveyed by naming and remembering her might be about gentleness or fierceness. Some of us knew she could be fierce. Or we might receive a humbling message about how to be utterly worldly poor and yet so eternally rich. Also on our necrology for this Mass is Bishop James Montgomery. As with Sister Barbara, many of us have our Bishop Montgomery memories and stories. Although these stories are unique in time and place to each of us, if we laid them all out, we would see common themes. Our faith was deepened. We were rescued from some folly, a nagging long-time burden was lifted. Surrounding these two names, our necrology mostly includes names that are known only to one or a few of us. Whether known by many or a few, we ask for these names to be included because of love or admiration or sorrow or some measure of all these motives or for other reasons. In most or all cases, these souls shaped our lives and faith for good. We are lit up. We are renewed. We are encouraged to persevere in faith as we recall moments of generosity or guidance, 
or rescue or compassion. That moment when we recognize, oh, that's what real forgiveness looks like. That's what sacrifice looks like. That's what true joy looks like. In so many instances, these moments have contributed to who we are and who we continue to aspire to be in ways that were and are meaningful and effective as any sermon. Rather than fill up too much of this time now with a sermon that is not meant to be my sermon, allow me to sit down, first inviting you for just one minute to allow one person from your list to take my place here. Use the time to ask, what was the message of her or his life that they aspired to share with me, with others, with the world? Or, if you prefer, I welcome you to imagine the requiem at which your name will be on the list. What is the sermon that the memory of you will have left behind for others? In peace, we pray to you, Lord God. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Grant to your whole church in paradise and on earth your light and peace. Grant that all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and rise to newness of life, and that through the grave and gate of death, we may pass with him to our joyful resurrection. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith, that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days. Grant to all who mourn a sure confidence in your fatherly care that casting all their grief on you, they may know the consolation of your love. Grant us grace to entrust to your never failing love, the souls of all the faithful departed, particularly those we now call to mind and name. Pray with me for all rectors, curates, deacons, and all assisting clergy, and all the sisters of the Order of St. Anne and other religious now departed, who have served and enriched 
the mission of this place, the people of the Church of the Ascension. Pray for all benefactors of this parish, now departed, whose faithful witness and generosity have contributed to the ongoing mission and ministries of the Church of the Ascension. Pray for those beloved parishioners, family members, and friends now departed from who, for whom our prayers are asked at this time, including those we now name. John Raymond Mulcair, Mary Louise Devins, Rose Mills Kellogg, Henry Lewis Kellogg, Louise Kellogg White, Robert White, Anna White, David White the First, Bina Lewis, Dudley Lewis, Gary Fertig, Priest, Kurt Holson, Priest, James H. Dunkerley, Priest. Robert Jr. Rarick, Helen Rarick, Shirley Rarick, Robert L. Raymond, Lois Jean Belliot Raymond Simmons, John R. G. Simmons, Robert Henry Petit, Olive Maggie Petit, Kevin Campbell, Albert Yarn, Glenn Chestnut, William Carell, Dick Orvis Jr., Gwen Kramer, Joseph R. Duchabella. Theodore Wellesley Jennings Jr., Walter and Florence Ditfirth, Robert F. and Elizabeth F. McLaughlin, Robert Patton McLaughlin, Scott Van Norick, Harry and Lucille Berger, Dorothy Valentis, Charles Joseph Binney, Thomas Leyland Yancey, L.R.S. Ferguson Priest, Mr. and Mrs. M.E. Drury, Jane Drury, Donald Herzog, Edwin Arthur Gregory Norris, priest. Barbara Louise, OSA, religious. Professor William Porter. James Winchester Montgomery, bishop. Ada and Theodore Peterson. Gertrude and Sheldon Richardson. Joanne and Russell Peterson. Marianne and David Craighead. Hans Lubschick, priest. Lawrence Hyman, priest. Harry Allen, priest. Erica Amar. Bill A.B. Walter A. Green. Mary Frances Green. Betty and Weldon Reeves. Rick Reeves. Dan Reeves. Michael Berkshire. Don Harder. Roy Victor Robertson. Mary Jane Robertson. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Catherine Bednar. Frederick Jacob Barron. Dolores Mary Barron. John L. Lewis. 
Marcella Marcelek, Lauren Loeffler, Robert C. Judd, Bart Hackley, Edith Howe, Reed Howe, Marianne Bow, Kathy Rizzani, Bernice Fortini, Anthony Adusi, priest, Bernard and Mary Schramm, Thaddeus and Cecilia Kowalski, Murray Lamon, Merton Smith, Harvey Smith, E. Geriel J. Howard, Francis B. Traz, Foley J. Traz, George Floyd, Brianna Taylor, Helena I. Bondi, Nancy Lee and Otto Rahm III, William D. and Robert Nell Tate, Sarah and Paul Hyatt, Doris and Margaret Williams, Vincent Hector, Joseph Andrew, Ephraim and Christine Isaac, Timothy and Agatha Isaac, Samuel Kivalois, Helena Wilson, Dwayne Wilson, Jean Waterhouse, Charles Waterhouse, Virginia Muntman, Norman and Francis Joseph, Maurice and Elizabeth Walsh, Baba and Shock Peter, Sophie and Bernice Joseph, Mary Hofster, Robert and Dolores Peter, Edgar F. Wells, priest, Wanda Dole, Dora Smith, Simon Smith, Enid Smith, Eugene Smith, Francis Ryan, Lois Ryan, Mary Ryan, Helen Smith, Emil Smith, David Knitter, Charles Michael Clark, Charles Vincent Clark, Brenda, Randy. Gerhard Smack, Leanna Edinger, Mark Edinger, William Guthrie, Jewel Flowers, Fred Griffin, Janet Miller, Bradley Mott, John A. Ward IV, Theodore N. Yoda, Francis A. Yoda, John Leslie Johnston, Jr. Mary Margaret, OSA, Religious. Kathleen Marie, OSA, Religious. Anna Del Bianco Bassett. Ernesto Bassett. Amelia Finch Alexander. Francis Alexander, Clarence Peterson, Amy Brekash, Andrew Patner, Robert Scogin, Samuel Kung U, Carrie Aaron Chianesi. 
Duane Williams, Peter Stutzman, Daphne Tittle, Michael Leonard Keegan, Jean-Claude Poilevet, Suzanne Poilevet, Eric Munoz, Kristen Milks, Kathy Arbuckle, William Beverly, John Lewis, Sadie Leonard, and Kevin Perizzo. Take a moment as others may wish to remember those not already named. Receive these souls and the souls of all the faithful departed into the arms of your mercy and remember them according to the favor that you bear unto your people. Grant that increasing in knowledge and love of you, they may go from strength to strength in the life of perfect service in your heavenly kingdom. Grant that they may have their consummation and bliss in your eternal and everlasting glory and with the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Anne, her mother, Saint Michael, the Archangel, our patron, and all your saints, to receive the crown of life that you promised to all who share in the victory of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With thanksgiving for those we have named and giving thanks as well for those among whom we continue to live in faith and with whom we share our faith. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And always with you. you.
My special thanks this evening not only to Brooke Raymond serving as acolyte and David White, our organist, for their ministries here in the church this evening, but also to a dozen of you who, by your remote prayers and participation, have also contributed to this liturgy. I'm grateful. I invite those who consider themselves to be young adults to join me, as well as Deacon George Arsenault and our seminarian, Bonnie Scott, uh, shortly after this Mass. You may re remain on the Zoom call or go away and come back. We'll be here for, I'd say, at least a half hour or 45 minutes, and it would be lovely to reconnect, to greet you, to learn your name if you are new to Ascension, and uh, look forward to further reflection with you at that time. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive this sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all his holy church. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. You lift, lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give you thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who rose victorious from the dead and comforts us with the blessed hope of everlasting life. For to your faithful people, O Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when our mortal body lies in death, there is prepared for us a dwelling place eternal in the heavens. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, Christ, Christ is risen. 
Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant them to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant them rest. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant them rest eternal. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are they who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but, but speak, speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed.
us pray. Almighty God, we thank you that in your great love you have fed us with the spiritual food and drink of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, and have given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant that this sacrament may be to us a comfort in affliction and a pledge of our inheritance in that kingdom where there is no death, neither sorrow nor crying, but the fullness of joy with all your saints. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessing of God, Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.